Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is t power t, and this equals t power 3. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Look at it here. The exponent here is 3, meaning we are expecting to have three different solutions. Now, if you consider this identity, if you have a to the power of b, and this equals a to the power of c. Now, since the pieces are the same, meaning you can say that b equals c. Now, going by this particular identity, you can also equate this exponent. And I know that is what most of you are going to do. We now have t equals 3. Well, this is obviously correct. This is just one of the solutions. Remember, I said we need three more solutions. We need two more solutions to add to this, making it three different solutions. So we have gotten one. We need two more solutions. So for us to solve it and get all the solutions, then let's do it this way. I have my t power t equals t to the power of 3. Now from here, I can decide to make use of natural log. I have natural log of t power t equals natural log of t power 3. And don't forget, when you have natural log of this to the power of this, then you can make use of this identity. So if you have natural log of a power b, it becomes b natural log of a. So that means the t will come behind the natural log and the 3 will come behind the natural log. So what we are going to have here will be t times natural log of t equals 3 times natural log of t. Now, what next can we do? We can decide to move this over here. It becomes negative, so I have t times natural log of t minus 3 times natural log of t equals 0. So, what can we do at this particular point? This natural log of t here. This natural log of t here. I can decide to factor that out. I have natural log of t times. When I divide this by natural log of t, I'm going to have t. Then I bring down the minus. When I divide this by natural log of t, I'm going to have 3. And this equals 0. So right now, I can equate each of these to 0. I have natural log of t equals 0. Or I have t minus 3 equals 0. So right now, if you have natural log of t equals 0, you can easily solve for t. How? You have e power natural log of t equals e power 0. That means, why am I using this e here? Because I want to eliminate this natural log. The e raised to the power of natural log will give us 1. So the e can cancel out this natural log. So we have t equals e power 0. So right now, I have t equals e to the power of 0 is 1. Don't forget the fact that any number or alphabet raised to the power of 0 is 1. The only exception to this rule is 0 power 0, which is undefined. So that is that. Now, we also have another equation right here, which is t minus 3 equals 0. For us to solve for t, I simply move this entity 3 over here. It becomes positive 3. So this is my t1, like what we had earlier on. Remember, when we used our identity, this is the t1. And let this be our t2. Now, using this particular method, we have gotten two different values for t, which are 3 and 1. Now, like I said earlier on, we need three solutions. So, we need three solutions. We have gotten two solutions using two methods. So, let's consider this other method. Let's check if we are going to have all the solutions. Now, I'm going to have t power t equals t power 3. I can decide to divide this by t power 3 and divide this by t power 3. t power 3 eliminates t power 3. So this will give me 1. So I have t power t divided by t power 3 equals 1. So what next? I can apply this other identity. Remember, if you have a power n, divided by a to the power of n, this equals a power n minus n. So 
also by applying this identity right here. I'm simply going to have this is t to the power of t minus 3. Remember, if this is at the same result of the exponent, and this equals 1, the one that we have here. Now, at this point, what can we do? We still make use of ln. I have natural log of t to the power of t minus 3 equals natural log of 1. So, we go back and apply this logarithm property. If you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln of a. So what happens here is that the t minus 3 will come behind the ln. So we are going to have t minus 3 here times we have ln t and this equals ln 1. Now, it is worthy for you to note that ln 1, or natural log of 1, equals 0. Natural log of 1 equals 0, so this will give us 0. So that means you are having t minus 3 times ln t equals 0. Now, if this is the case, that means I can equate each of these to 0. I have t minus 3 equals 0, or I have ln t equals 0. Now, if t minus 3 equals 0, to solve for t is very simple. I take this negative 3 over here, it becomes positive 3. So have t equals 3. This still gives us the same solution that we had earlier on, that is t1, which is 3. Now, let's consider this one here. You have ln of t equals 0. Now, I have ln t equals 0. I can eliminate this ln by making use of e. e power ln t equals e power 0. So from here, e power ln cancel out. We have t equals e power 0. And like I said earlier on, any number or alphabet raised to the power of 0 is 1. So you have t equals 1. Now, this is still giving us only two solutions, which are 3 and 1. But we're supposed to have three different solutions. What is the problem? The question remains t power t equals t power 3. And we have gotten t equals 3 and t equals 1. These are the two solutions. Now, let's check if these two solutions will satisfy the equation. So if I use 3, I'm going to have 3 power 3. That means t equals 3. And this equals 3 power 3. 3 power 3, this is 27. And this equals 3 power 3, that is 27. Left hand side equals right hand side, correct? Let's consider one. I have t equals 1. So I have t power t equals t power 3. So I substitute 1 for t, I have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 3. So 1 power 1 is 1 equals 1 power 3 is 1. Left hand side equals right hand side still correct. Now, the two solutions have actually, have actually satisfied the equation, but there's also another solution which is t equals negative 1. Look at it here. If you have negative 1 to the power of negative 1, this equals negative 1 to the power of 3. Now, remember. If you have a to the power of negative 1, this equals 1 over a. So, negative 1 to the power of negative 1 is the same thing as 1 divided by negative 1 to the power of 1. And this equals negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Have you seen it? So, from here, you have negative 1 to the power of negative 1. Negative 1 to the power of 1 is negative 1. So this is 1 divided by negative 1 equals negative 1 times negative 1. That is 1. 1 times negative 1, and that is negative 1. So from here, you have 1 divided by negative 1, that is negative 1 equals negative 1. So this means that negative 1 is also one of the solutions. 
it's, it's correct. But to solve it, I don't know how to solve it. Now, if you know how to solve for T, that will give us negative one. Kindly drop it on the comment box because the three answers are T equals three, T equals one, T equals negative one. We have solved for this, we have solved for this, but we are yet to solve for this. Kindly drop it on the comment box if you know how to get it. But it is correct. So that's it. Thank you and goodbye.